and this is the first time you're hosting, so mm -hmm. is there an added pressure, or is it just, you know, I know how to do this. I've been in this game for a long time. You know, the, the, the mechanics of it are surprisingly the same as a lot of other stuff that, that I've done. It, it's, it's the, you know, the audience is obviously a billion times bigger. It's a tough room. And it's, and it's a tougher room. Yeah, it's a very thin-skinned room. But you have, yeah, and you have an edgy aesthetic, yeah. so how do you walk so that line? So it's a really bad match, is I think <laughs> what we've arrived at here. I'm the wrong guy to do this. I'm Seth MacFarlane, and I'll be hosting the Oscars this year, where we'll be celebrating all your favorite films. We saw Amy Poehler and Tina Fey do such a great job, and they were pretty much widely applauded. Well, I haven't lauded. read any positive no, reviews. No, none at all. Did, would they get good reviews for them? A mm, couple. I read a couple. <laughs> if I had one review for anything in my career as good as their worst review for that, I would be a happy man. So does that put more pressure because it's like, this is how you host a show. I mean, look, I, I thought they were fantastic, but they are also beloved by the press. So it's, you know, even if they had not done as great a job as they had done, I still think, you know, there, there are certain people who have kind of a carte blanche, you're awesome, we love you no matter what you do. Um, you know, that said, they were fantastic, but, um, but I wouldn't know if they weren't from reading the press because... <laughs> of those reasons. So I, I, I'm kind of the opposite. I go in at about minus 10 well, with want... the press. So it's like, all right, got to get myself to at least a level where they can tolerate me. <laughs> and then maybe from there I have a shot at actually getting a positive review. Do you reach out to those people who you know have killed at the Oscars, who have done it really yeah. right? Yeah, I, I talked to Billy Crystal. And he was, uh, he was a super nice guy and, and genuinely helpful. Took a lot of time out of his schedule to sit down with me. And, and, and I came out of it with, with some practical, practical stuff. And, and it was, you know, I'm very grateful to him for taking the Can time to Can you tell do me that. one thing he told you? Yeah, get comfortable with, with your shoes before you get on stage. I like that. <laughs> That's a girl thing. We got to yeah. walk in our heels before we get on the big stage. Sure. Because you never know. Good point. Sure. So my, my strappies will be... Uh, <laughs> You know, well worn in before I get out there. Well, I don't know what the protocol is. I don't know if you say good luck, break a leg, or just give a pound. So I'm going to give you a pound because that's what I do. So good luck to you, okay? That's the thing where it goes like Do you want to blow it up? <laughs> All right. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Have a you. good one. See, that's what we should have just yeah, done. Shake hands. What do you do? <laughs>